Um, so, in this version here, let's let's bring back the um, the thought knots. So we thought the Witchbane Orb might be too cute. Um, and then Liquid Metal, I really like. Even there, we just showed the power of it. Like, we didn't need to have the Lattice Lock in order to take them out of the game, you know? Um, but why don't we try trimming the Spyglass? And then I'm actually going to try cutting the Ballista. And why don't we pull in some Thrags? Just because we fe feel like we need this card right now. Um, oh, we should make this a new version. All right, so we're trying this out, adding in the Thrag Tusk for this, but uh, let's uh, run another league. Yeah, I loved um, just jamming ranked. I never got to diamond. I was really sad about that. Um, like, s season two, when I started trying to play competitive with it, I got to, like, high gold, low plat, I think. And then, like, every season after that, I was um, mid plat to high plat. And I think it was season three and season four where I got to uh, plat one both times, and I couldn't just get over that edge to hit diamond. I was always really sad about that. I got to... Um, Plat one at like 60 points and I just couldn't I would go on like a three or four game losing streak and just lose a ton of points and then uh, when I'm winning I was only getting like half the point value back so is the, the way their system works so that was really sad all right this is a solid hand where you're gonna form Tron and uh, we've got a threat And it might be against a really relevant one. Hmm, this feels like free when red. And I feel like we're going to get Blood Moon. Nope, Ravel Master. We can deal with the Ravel Master. We would have drawn the card too. Um, hmm. Can we even get anything fast enough to stay in this game? Oh, that might do it. But possibly not. No. Hmm. Our hand's not going to be empty enough. And we're going to take too big of a hit here. Yeah, I think we're dead. Yeah, my uh, teammate is big on the new Ugin. He's playing it as a one-of. Um, we may want to be playing it. It, gives, it is a strong draw engine. Um, so we can try that out too. I don't know what we would cut for it. I'm not sure if it's good enough to cut the old... Um, the old Ugins. Maybe we cut the World Breaker. But I like the World Breaker right now because of how many people are playing Tron. I don't think we'd want to cut all of our new cards for mm -hmm. it. 
maybe we shave a little bit and just shave like one uh, Ugin and mm -hmm. shave one uh, new card, and that way we can play two of them. Yeah, Karn's an expensive card. There is no issue with going with a budget-friendly option because of it. Alright, let's see what they fetch up because we're dead. Yeah, Magic's an expensive game. I, like, there's plenty of other very reasonable things to do that's not just spending all the money on magic, you know? All right, they've got the coding, and we can go ahead and concede here. No matter what we get, we will not be able to keep up with that. Let's bring in the Thrags and the Nature's Claims. We're gonna cut the Relics. I'm gonna cut the Ulamogs. And I'm going to cut one. Mm, I don't want to cut. I like World Breaker. Quite a bit here. Normally the card I would cut would be in the place of it. Mm -mm -mm. So like the reason I want to keep World Breaker is we can still cast it and take out a, a Blood Moon with it. Let's cut a little Karn. No, let's just bring a two thrag tusk. <laughs> Our opponent's telling us how tables have turned hard on Tron after Karn's betrayal. <laughs> yeah. Legacy is a format that I've always really wanted to play, but it. It's so freaking expensive nowadays. Like, when I used to, uh, before I quit Magic, I felt like Legacy was reasonable. I Like, you could save up for a while and, and buy a deck. Um, the cost of modern decks now is what Legacy decks, like, I feel like they used to be, just a little bit higher. Um, like, an expensive modern deck now is what Legacy decks used to be. But now, like, Legacy decks are just so expensive that it's just out of reach completely like, i don't know I, I don't feel like i have enough reason to pick up a legacy deck because like there's a very small community in our area that um that play it getting plaid itself man it's a huge deal i feel like so congrats to you for doing that you're going for the grind this year what's your goal do you have a certain ranking you want to try to hit Diamond's a good goal. That was my goal as well. I never quite got there, so keep a little, keep us posted on how you're doing. That is a good collection of legacy decks to have. I've played Sneak and Show. My friend had that. That is sweet. Uh, what roles do you do, or who's your main? Or mains? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this hand can form Tron. It's just a little awkward, but I think we can do it. You know, star into stirrings. Hopefully, find another piece. Drop the map.
our opponents telling us about how uh, they're relishing um, <laughs> the fact that uh, the tables have turned over the pyro prison threads. So, 66% win rate with Jace? That's nuts. I never could figure out Jace. Like, I just was not that good with him. Let's form Tron. Hopefully our opponents don't have another Blood Moon. I think I rode Trindamir to High Plat um, in Seasons 2 and 3, uh, along with the Rumble. Well, they were nuts. And then after that, I kind of just kind of stuck around with uh, Malzahar a ton. And then uh, he was my main until I pretty much quit. But I still played, like, Darius a lot um, and other tops just so I can be, like, that beefy bruiser that the team needed. Okay, that's a Magus. Rings. Do we just want to grab a land? No, let's grab this worm coil. We reasonably should be able to get a land with this map and with the Sylvan Scrying to get us to the six. And hopefully we're just going to be able to drop this Karn on them this next turn. Hmm, Karn might not be able to stick around if we run it. <sighs> oh, stone would be great if we rip a land. Hmm. We don't rip the land. We may just want to go Karn into Ballista. No. Karn into Ballista. Spell Sky will be off the board. I mean, uh, Spell Sky will be able to activate its abilities because Karn's off the board. Can we take two more hits? Could scry and then next turn go for the O stone into blowing up the following turn. If we just rip the land, then we're fine. <sighs> I think we're gonna chance it. Just, uh, just run off the O stone. How much is it to buy Tron on uh, Moto? Um, so the thing about Moto, um, I did, I do own Tron on Moto, and I own, I used to own a couple other decks. I honestly don't recommend buying into Moto. Um, the market's kind of in flux still. The market did crash a while back with the arena stuff that was announced, um, and then because of that. Um, I honestly think your best bet is to just use... I use Mana Traders right now. It's like 30 some bucks a month, and I can rent pretty much any deck in Modern. Um, and then, because I'm constantly able to... I haven't... I haven't... I, I do pay the money out every month, but I'm sitting on like a giant stack of tickets, so I used to use that for entry on everything. Um, the cost that you would have to pick up Tron, I think, is a couple hundred ticks, right? It's probably like 200 ticks for it. Um, and in that time frame, you could um, 
I, don't, I like I don't know how much you're going to jump into it. Sell it. You can sell your collection on Moto though, so that's something you, you're going to take a cut. Obviously, uh, I know a couple friends that instead of buying um, into like mana traders and paying for that monthly subscription, what they'll do is buy a deck and they'll just rotate that deck. The you know spend a little bit of money and then they cash it out and switch it over, doing like that. Uh, and that's absolutely fine as well. But. Um, yeah, that's what you'd be looking at. You'd be looking at probably like, uh, if, uh, I don't know off the top of hand, but probably like 170 to 200. Need a land. We got there, baby. Yasuo is so sweet. My uh, uh, one of the other people on here, uh, God Reese, he played that champ a ton. And yeah, I played Nara a little bit, but I was never like super proficient with him. Ancient Starings grab Harden Scales. The amount of times that I've wanted to Ancient Starings and grab a Thrag Tusk is no joke. I'm like, oh, this would be perfect. Grab this game five life. It's exactly what I want. And I'm like, no, I can't. Okay, they had another Blood Moon. Um, we can... Let's Sylvan Scrying. And then let's run out Karn. And we'll go fetch up. Lattice. They've got one turn to answer Karn. Go, opponent. Thanks for the follow, Sarcasm Time. Much appreciated. Okay. I think because they dropped that, we're going to have to run out the... If we run out the Worm Coil, Archarn still dies? If we're not the lattice, it still dies as well, though. So, let's run out the worm coil. Let's tick up just so they have to commit all their creatures and we can take out the war boss with the worm coil if they do that. Yeah, it wasn't much of an AD carry. Um, I did, however, love playing uh, Ezreal. Ezreal is just a blast to. 
poke people with. <laughs> I never got into Kaisa, I, well, obviously, because I think that's a newer champ, and I uh, didn't feel comfortable playing um, Kaisa, so then I eventually just kind of fell out of it. Swinging with just the one? That's interesting. So, like, I really don't agree with their decision there, because now we get to Lattice, and they're locked out of the game. And we're just going to make uh, Lattice a creature to block. And every turn we're guaranteed to gain six life. I think they should have committed to killing Karn, myself. Even though I put them in an awkward situation, it would not have meant losing the game. Okay. See if we can beat this deck. Yeah, I just looked at the modern um, pricing from MTG Goldfish, and it looks like Tron Online varies based off of the build you're going with. Um, if you're going with a more traditional build, it actually looks like it's like $400, uh, but the price of that can drop down as low as the upper 200 So definitely a big investment for online if you're i find a lot of value in playing online obviously though because one i stream but then two um i i love trying out tons of different decks and the the fact that i don't have to invest a bunch of money into it is a huge deal so, otherwise like at one point i owned like five decks on moda it just wasn't needed We cannot keep this hand. This hand doesn't form Tron at all. <laughs> um, until like much later, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna keep that O stone as well, actually. Between the Ancient Stirrings and the Expedition map, it might be just enough to uh, lock out their stuff. So unless they have a uh, a creator hand, I think we would be all right. Rabble Master, now that's gonna be quite the beating. they blood moon us we're dead we're just under too much pressure Mm -hmm. 
Oh, they went for the blast zone. Okay. Alright, well, if they don't kill us, we get to wipe the board. And we need them not to blood moon. Is that lethal? No, right? Cool. We're at three. Solid, solid. <clears throat> All right. If we can survive one more turn. Ballista on two. Karn? Do they want to shoot us right now to put us to one? If they do, they actually lose, because we'll just last them. Super interesting they're gonna do that. opponent can have. <laughs> can they Simeon Spirit Guide and bolt us? They can, right? Because it's not a permanent on the battlefield. <laughs> but they don't play bolt in this version. to do that there though because if we if they wouldn't have activated lattice we would have just fetched up our um we would have just fetched up like worm coil and blocked it and then they can't shoot anything and then we would have just lattice the following turn although it would have lived, uh, allowed for them to play spells for one more turn i suppose because they unless they think we're willing to let karn take a hit which we couldn't afford to at that time because we didn't have anything else What? I'm looking at another list that's uh, that just took first place at the Little Rock Open, and they're back to playing a big Emrakul. Holy crap! They're on three cards, which is good to see. Um, they have a. Mm -mm -mm. They're on Graph Diggers, and I'm not a fan of Graph Diggers. I feel like Relic's just better. Um, this hand we're gonna ship. We'll. I don't like this hand at all. We'll keep it though. Hmm. 
we get two draws to hit a Tron piece. And we already, sh um, three views, We because we already shipped one as well. Looks like we're against Dredge. All right, well, we can form Tron with the Sylvan Scrying, so that's good. As long as they don't have a crazy hand, we'll be fine. Hmm, they're dredging already. Professionals. Oh, I made a stink weight. Okay, okay. We would really like to hit a relic right now. We need to hit a relic. We did not hit a relic. They've got an insane graveyard. This is not good for us. Um, mm -mm -mm. Well. Pass it over. Thanks for the follow, Ben Sabbath. Hello to you as well. We've got uh, one league in already. We're starting our second league right now. We're off to 1-0 and o against Free Wind Red. And we're in our first game against uh, Dredge here. And this one's not looking good. So, we're taking lethal next turn, so let's scoop it up. Alrighty. So, we're going to bring in the Thrag Tusk. Take out the World Breaker. Take out the Ulamogs. And let's run like that. Neutron with the new Karn. You can see the uh, deck list for the version we ran during the first league and right now. I can update that to the version we're running that we have now in a second. Give me just a bit. Uh, this hand's no good. These hands are not doing well. Mm-mm-mm. Feel like this is my top eight match all over again. We can hit another Tron piece here. Um, we're in a pretty awkward spot. Ugin, I think we're gonna have to just rely on blind luck. And they choose not to ghost quarter us for some very, very strange reason.
They can put us to one. Oh no, they said alone. They have lethal, alright. Can flag for the lethal. Whew, too good. Alright, we got wrecked there. <laughs> Let me grab this to the side. I'm gonna get the updated list to this hand's no good. This hand's not either. We'll keep this one. No, well, we've got Tron. updated on a stream decker now and that is the list hmm is this out? are they gonna ghost quarter us they certainly look like they're gonna ghost quarter us And for anyone that's joining, we are playing out a new version of Tron, because I did just see the amount of viewers just go up a bit. Uh, we're playing a new version of Tron. It's Genie Tron. It's using Karn, the Great Creator, with a wish board. Um, and I'll be playing. I have one league already done for tonight. I'll have the video up later tonight. I have a couple other videos that we did. And after this league, we'll be running one more league if my time allows. So... Starting, see if they counter that. They did not. Mm -mm -mm. Grabbing the O stone. Let's run out the worm coil. Interesting. Um, if we use O Stone, they should counter it. Okay. We're just trying to lock up their mana. I don't think they can kill us. They have to pay for both packs this turn. And they don't have a... 
an amulet in play, so. And we've got a blocker anyhow. <laughs> Willing to trade, huh? Probably because they're just gonna bounce it to Larry West anyway to get another Titan, but. trade all right we're gonna go fetch up a sanctum play our sanctum Ditch the relics, let's bring in the claims, and we'll bring in the thought knots as well. Hmm. Maybe not. This is the kind of combo deck I usually want to bring him in against. Um, but World Breaker is also really relevant here, being able to uh, exile and block the Titan. Our board sweepers are kind of a big deal, and just being able to exile their stuff is a big deal, obviously. And I don't want to take rid of the Oldstone. That's going to be our way to just blow up their creatures. We could take out Karn. Um, but if we can get Karn, getting Liquid Metal on our Lattice obviously is just huge. Yeah, let's choose not to bring them in right now. I'm going to try it out. Hands going nowhere. As well as that hand. This hand's got a shot, I guess. We need to rip a Tron piece on the top. We've got this. We are professionals at just ripping Tron. You know? Alright, We've got a Karn opponent. What do you got? Opponent was not happy that we multi four and formed Tron and uh, started Karning them. Not happy at all. Oh, you should never be feeling bad about aggressively mulling with Tron, by the way, because someone was talking about picking up Tron earlier. Aggressively mull. You're you're looking to form Tron. If you're not forming Tron in your hands, you need to ship it. That's good. That's good. I'd like to see if we can wrap this up with a 4-1. That'd be sweet. And then run one more. And then I'll call it a night. <laughs> Casting anger in a red-green Tron is still pretty hard, I feel like, sometimes, so... I'm actually surprised no one tried to run Red Green Tron with how much dread just floating around. Alright, we'll keep this.
What are we going against? I haven't seen Step Links in forever. What kind of zoo deck do we got? Is this Shadow Zoo using Step Links? Or is this like just four color, I mean five color shadow or four, I mean four color zoo or five color zoo? Okay, nothing there. Um, let's run out a relic. We might be ghost quartering our opponent on our turn. We usually don't play very many basics, so if we can cut them off of red and green, that might be pretty huge. They're only gonna hit us for one? Oh man, how great. It's a shadow. I think we need to pop this though. It's a Karn. Hmm. Is taking them off red and green better than playing Karn the following turn? I think it is. This is where we want to bring in our Thought Knots and our Thrags. I did not see Goyf, so I think we can cut the Relics. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Ulamog's usually too slow for us, so we're going to cut that, and I'm going to cut the one card as well. I want to keep this card, because if we can hit this card, we can uh, hit them with uh, Ensnaring Bridge, um, and that'll be pretty good to lock them out of the game. Okay, we're shipping that. Mm -mm -mm. This is a slower hand. We're going to get one extra draw. But we've also got the four and five drops in our hand, so I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to bottom that. Normally, I would ship this hand. Um, and that might come back to bite us here, because I should have shipped it, because it it's not guaranteed to form Tron. Okay. We're gonna craft Sylvan Scry here because we don't have another land. Um, and we're gonna grab the mine. Now, debatably, it might be better for us to get the blast zone to take out their one drops. Um, but I'm running on the gamble that we are gonna hit another map or a scry or a stirring to form Tron. If not, we're gonna run off this O Stone. Okay, and we're not running out this O-Stone. They're taking our O-Stone. We are so good at this! <laughs> uh, our opponent's going to be really mad. Let's see what they want. I imagine they're gonna take Ugin. Yeah. Ooh, they're 
playing the Arcanus. Saucy. Okay, so we can get our hand size down to one. Which might not be good enough. We can blow up their lands, but I also think that's not good enough. If we grab anything that doesn't stop them from attacking, our Karn is gone. So, let's start with using a sphere. I'm gonna crack it for green. Ulgan will be great next turn, but we don't have it for this turn. I think we're better off just running out the Thrag Tusk, gain some life. So the Thought sees one of these away, and then the other one that gets a stick will take over the game. So. See if that's good enough. This card seems sweet. So they're going to be able to Thought Seize us without paying the mana cost. We lose Ugin. And then we have to block it because we don't want them to be able to do that again. If they have another Thought Seize in hand, that's going to be brutal to us. Because... I didn't realize this was when it attacks. It's uh, I thought it was when it dealt combat damage, so that's mm -hmm. even better. We can just Karn and Exile, and the, or we can Karn and go get uh, Ensnaring Bridge. I feel like just Exiling is better here, because then we'll have the Ragtus to block. We are just ripping a threat after threat on top of our deck. We're going crazy. Shadow, shadow. All right, let's take the last card out of their hand. It was a become immense. That would have been bad for us. Okay, so we're good here. We're gonna go Karn, minus. Ensnaring Bridge, and pass it over. Sure. Ooh, interesting. That can attack next turn through our shenanigans. Alright, minus. Go get ourselves a Lattice. Let's hit the step links. Drop our lattice. Gap there. Nice. Okay. Let's run it back. 
All right, natural Tron into a Karn and an Uga. This is a nice hand, of course. Who doesn't like natural Tron? something I forgot to mention earlier. Um, I didn't stream on Wednesday. Uh, right now, my workload, schoolwork, is too high for me to dedicate two nights to streaming. So I am just down to one night streaming. I'm going to try to extend the hours at the very least for Sunday. So normally I stream from 6 to 10 on Sunday. Um, I'm going to try to go to... Um, six uh five to ten or four to ten depending on how my day looks just so i can get a little bit more in uh, i do apologize um you know unfortunately i do have to prioritize school so um only one night um i am bummed out about it of course but uh obviously once school kind of tapers off um i'll be able to get back to streaming again Become immense in battle rage and we die. That's exactly what's happening. That that is exactly what's happening. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was good. I felt good about our uh, turn three Tron. They were just like, nah, that doesn't matter. I'm killing you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. And I'll be playing next week Sunday, but the following Sunday I'll be in uh, Louisville, so I won't be able to stream then. Oh, man, our, our opponent just uh, just crushed us. <laughs> oh. Last match of this league. Let's see if we can pull out a win. I've been 3 twoing a lot with this deck, so I would like to keep 3 twoing at the very least, because I feel like if you can 3 two enough times, you're a modern deck. And we already know Tron's a modern deck, but we want to make sure that this version of Tron's still a modern deck. It's taking quite some time to find us our last match. They just know the power of the Karn Father, and they wish for us not to just crush another opponent. I, that's that's obviously it, guys.
think this is the longest I've ever waited to get a match. What is going on? This hand's garbage. This hand's Tron. Oh, great. Let's see if this is good enough. We've already got one in hand, so we're gonna ship that one. Alright, they miss. Okay, they're just conceding. How interesting. Hmm, so they're black red. Could mean shadow. Could mean Mardu. In both cases, I think Relic's fine. And we don't have enough information to, like, effectively... I, don't, I like I don't I don't know if I want to bring in the nature's claims. It might not be. Um, it's not like we want against Mardu because they usually bring in the blood moons, but there's nothing in Shadow that I really want to hit other than keeping ourselves alive. Thrag Tusk is pretty good against both of them. It could be Jun, but I, I don't think Jun would have conceded that fast. Let's just run it back. Yeah, there's a good chance they're on Fulminator, and we're not going to be forming Tron as much. Um, in which case, though, it's like I've gotten Fulminator cast like four times on me because of them chaining uh, Coligan's command, and, and, and in those cases, I still want Relic. shipping this hand. Hmm. This hand's suspect. So this hand doesn't have another land for this map to go find uh, the rest of our Tron pieces, but we're going to get three looks. I'm gonna try it. Alright, we're gonna bottom that. Kept a one lander as well. Okay. Very bad indeed. This looks like Mardu though. I can't imagine they kept a hand off just land inquisition. I 
Okay, we still can't draw lands. Our Tron luck is lingering away from us. On the plus side, our opponent's given us plenty of time. Still can't get a land. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, we did it. So I feel like our, hand, our opponent's just sitting on like all the blood wounds in their hand. What? <laughs> what? I'm so confused by that game. Holy crap. All right. <laughs> wow, what in the world? Okay. Uh, so I'm going to stop the recording real quick. <laughs>